Lucent Australia has embarked on a uh, Lucent Seed Fertiliser Yield Trial, predominantly brought about by there's plenty of data on forage yield and all those sort of things, but nothing specific on seed, which is what our main industry is focused on. The reasons behind that is there's a lot of variances in what people perceive to be okay on their own systems. Uh, the ranges of fertiliser can be anything from 50 to a couple hundred kilos a hectare getting similar sort of results in yield um, so that when you have a, a couple of tough years that we've just been through people start asking a few more questions where what can they do to maintain production and um, keep a tab on costs. This trial is basically put in to see how different fertilisers affect different yields and hopefully at the end of the trial it'll give people the confidence to make some better decisions on do they maintain their yield uh, fertiliser regime year in, year out? Can they change it for one or two years? Um, should we be trying some different fertilisers that we haven't got out of our comfort zones in the past to give it a crack? Their funding and research comes from Redick, and uh, without their support, the, the trial just wouldn't be theirs. It is uh, driven and run by Lucent Australia. Uh, it's a completely independent trial. There's no um, one fertiliser company pushing the boundaries one way or the other. The fertiliser trial sees uh, two uh, sites trialled over a three year period. We're looking at both uh, loose and established under an irrigated and a dry land site. So we've got 30 different fertiliser treatments. The sites itself were soil and sap tested prior to the start of the trial and we've determined that these sites themselves are actually very adequate in the nutrient contents that they have. We're hoping that over the three year period we're going to see a change in these nutrients that, that we're tracking. Once we've got all of our yield analysis we'll then go on further to look at the economics um, associated with the return on investment and the likes of, of each of the products that's within the trial. There's seven um, companies involved um, and we're comparing some of their specialised treatments to also what we consider our standard district practices. For the standard practices, we're, we're looking at the, the traditional plain super and super potash. Impact uh, a fertiliser company who provide these basic products to then blend, blend their own. Lorico on board who traditionally are more biological in, in their way and, and soil health. So they're looking at a product um, called Biograce. Southern Soils uh, have got a product called NutriCow which is based on the movement of calcium through their plants. And then we've got products from, from Stola and, and also from AgriChem. So again they're more trace, trace elements. We're looking at three fertiliser applications in a season. So we're looking at an autumn application which is uh, more the organic products. The trial site itself in its basic agronomy is being uh, run by the farmer under his program which um, he uses across his farms. The thing that we're trying to encourage the farmers from the trial is although we're seeing at the moment there's no significant changes that that doesn't mean that we're not seeing a result out of these trials. So we're comparing different rates of product so if we're comparing 100, uh, 150 and, and 50 kilos of plain super and there's no significant difference between all of those then we are actually actually showing a result. We have to start looking at um, the efficiencies of, of what we're applying. The crop potential looks pretty good here. We've had pretty good um, pod set across the district this year. There is a little bit of um, flower stripping in the crop where we've um, not had not all of the pods set. Quite a few western flower thrip in this crop at the moment which aren't expected to have an impact because they're only going to impact on the flowers. You can see how they're attracted to the white. If you look into the seed crop you can see quite a fair pod set and um, in a lot of the earlier set there's not too many misses and quite good percentage of flowers have actually turned into pods. This crop you know it's um, it's turning out quite well, it's probably going to be somewhere in the order of 650, maybe 700 kilograms per hectare. We're pretty happy with the trial site and pretty excited about the next three to five years.